So the students were particularly angry at Judge Kyle Duncan for his 2020 opinion in which he refused to refer to a, tra a transgender inmate by her preferred female pronouns. Stanford issuing an apology for the heckling, saying in part this, what happened was inconsistent with our policies on free speech, and we are very sorry about the experience you had while visiting our campus. I, I wanna welcome in Niall Stanage, White House columnist with our partner over the Hill. Um, Niall, you and I were supposed to talk about this this morning. We didn't quite get there. Uh, I'm excited to get your take. Thanks for being here this afternoon. Good to be here, Martha. So, Niall, the judge didn't even get to make his prepared remarks. And might I also reiterate that he was invited to the school. I mean, how did you watch this? What's your take? My take, in short, is that this, unfortunately, is another example of how we seem to be losing our capacity to listen to each other in this country. The judge certainly holds some controversial opinions, and that runs a, a whole gamut of social issues, including, for example, abortion, as well as the trans rights topic that you mentioned. But he was invited there. He was trying to give remarks. He was heckled to the point where he could no longer continue with those remarks. That doesn't seem to me a very healthy sign for uh, political or civic discourse in this country. Yeah, I was going to say, is this a microcosm of where we are in society right now? Just to play devil's advocate here uh, on the topic of free speech, should the Stanford students also be protected by free speech in this incident? You know, I think anybody can argue their treatment of a university invited guest was inconsiderate, but did they have the grounds to conduct themselves like they did? They have the right to free speech, for sure. They have the right to protest. They have the right to vociferously disagree. I think the problem arises where there isn't a conversation of competing viewpoints. Mm -hmm. There's just this cacophony where they try successfully in this instance to shout an invited guest down. I think that just gets to a point where people are literally and figuratively talking over each other and doesn't ultimately help anyone. Yeah, no, absolutely no conversation there. Uh, that judge, I wanted to share this, that judge telling the Washington Free Beacon uh, in part this, he says, in this school, the inmates have gotten control of the asylum. Now, you have talked a lot lately on education and politics. Do incidents like this fuel the sense, at, at least among conservative voters, that schools and colleges are out of control? They do, and I'm glad you noted for conservative voters. I mean, clearly liberal voters have a very different sense of all this. But I do think among conservatives there is an issue not just about this so-called wokeness writ large, but about the hold it has on schools and colleges. And I think for conservative Americans, there is a perception that there are kind of hostile winds blowing through academia. And I think this will be seen as another example of that, even as liberals see it in a very different light. Yeah, this incident just going viral. Niall Stanage, always appreciate your insight. Thank you so much. Thanks, Martha. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.